In this video, I will explain how to log in the training site and update your profile. First of all, open your browser and type www.educationpyramid.com. You will reach to this home page of Education Pyramid. I have provided two links on this page. One you can see here, iSchool at the top and other link is VLE, login to VLE. Okay. Now institutional courses are uploaded at iSchool and courses offered by teachers without any reference to institute are uploaded at VLE. So both training sites have same system which is Moodle e-learning management system. In this video I will explain through iSchool but same method you can use for VLE as well if your course is offered at VLE site. Click iSchool. Here if you go down type here your username. I have created a test user for this training video. So test user 2 and then type here the password then click login now you have landed to the front page of your training site and title it shows this is iSchool and if you are logging through VLE site it will be shown here VLE on the right side top right side corner you will find your name the name I am using in this training video is test user 2 so it is appearing here click this link this is your profile page test user 2 public profile here at present this information is given for example United Arab Emirates Dubai business grade 12 on the right side you have navigation tab administration tab so go to edit profile and change password so first of all let me change password so I am typing here my current password and then new password and then save changes. It shows password has been changed. This is very important because the password you have been provided is machine generated. For better security, I always advise that you must change your password in the first step. Okay, press continue. Now you go to edit profile. Here you can find a form where information relating to you which public can view is given. So first name, second name, this is the email address I have provided. So you have the options, hide my email address from everyone or you can allow everyone to see my email address or allow only other course members to see my email address. So this is up to you. So I always advise that do not show your email address so hide my email address from everyone. Then uh, leave all these options as it is because these are some default settings. All right. Then you will write your uh, city name which is Dubai, United Arab Emirates and here the time zone it is UTC4. In this block you can give some information about yourself so I'm writing I am test user in this course okay, then go down here you can upload your picture so go to user picture I'm going to minimize this screen for the time being here I have one image 
and if I open this image in Microsoft Office Picture Manager, you can see a big image. You can upload your own personal photograph. Since this is test user, I am using this image. So here, go to Edit Picture and go to Resize. The current size is 638 by 428 pixels. This image size is very big for the model site and it will not upload your picture. I will go to the custom width. I change it to 90 and also 90 by 90. Click OK. Now you see the size of this picture is now at the icon level. Okay, now I file save as on the desktop test user 2 and save and then close this window and don't save here here I can see my image now I go back to my model size and you can see here Okay, now I drag it down and bring it here. Okay, now it shows an error message image BMP file type cannot be accepted. Okay, so I leave it here again, go back to image. Now I am going to open it in the paint and file save as. Here, go to JPEG and save and then close. Go back to your model site and now this image, this is, now this is new image which is JPEG. So, I am going to drag it here and you can see now it has been accepted. So, in this step, we drag down the image from our desktop to this block and picture description is user image all right now go to the interest my interest is reading playing football swimming and so on then optional there are different things I don't advise. If you have any web page, you have like your blog, so show it here. Otherwise, no need of mentioning any phone number or address. So, check it again. Now, update profile. So you can see your image is shown here, and this image will be shown to all the members on this site. That this navigation tab is occupying a lot of space. So, you can find small arrow button here. Just click this. You can see navigation tab is now reached to this side. And also this administration block. Click here. It will go to the left side. So, whenever you need to do anything, you can use this button. You can see the page is bigger, is giving better view. Okay. Now, go back to home page. Now, the last thing is log out now you are logged out from this site so that's all in this video thank you very much